Are high interest rates complicating your divorce mediation? Hi, I'm Claire Piero, a family and divorce mediator and attorney. I'm working with several couples now where it's really challenging for them to figure out how they're going to accomplish a buyout of the other spouse's interest in their home when mortgage interest rates are 7% or more. The reason that's so important is because when you're doing a buyout, they may need to borrow more funds from the bank at a higher mortgage in order to do the buyout. Or even if they're not looking to take more money out from the mortgage, they still have to get the other person's name off of the, the existing mortgage. And most banks will say you have to refinance, they won't allow an assumption. So what they all, what all of these couples have in common is that both of them firmly believe that it's in the children's best interest to remain within the school district. And for that to happen, that means that if it's 50-50 custody, one of them has to be in the school district. But if it's um, only one is the primary residential parent, then that's the person that has to reside within the school district. And for all of them, because they have a mortgage now that's 3% interest rate, staying in the house is the most affordable option for a person to remain within the school district. Now, where they all differ in their circumstances also limits what options are available to them. And the primary differences would be the amount of the equity in the house and the age of the children. That impacts how long potentially a person would have to wait for the equity in the house if the house isn't sold. So let's say that there's several hundred thousand dollars worth of equity in the house. The child's only eight years old. That means that's 10 years when the person isn't going to have access to those funds. That's a very different situation than let's say it's a 16 year old child and you're only looking at a couple of years and maybe there isn't that much equity in the house, then they would be waiting until the house sells. So clearly this is not like a one size fits all kind of resolution, but there are resolutions and I'm happy to share them with you in future videos. So you can check out these videos on my website, the link is below. And in the meantime, you can always visit my website to look at all of my blogs and videos on any other questions you may have about divorce mediation. Till next time, be well.